Good morning. Welcome to Storytime. I'm Miss Marie and this is the Warren County Vicksburg Public Library. We're very happy that you have joined us for Storytime. We are in the pretty much middle of summer. Today is officially July the 1st, so we'll just see how it goes. We think that it's going to be a little cooler this weekend. Fourth of July is supposed to be a very nice day and we're looking forward to having some time to um, enjoy and celebrate. I hope that you will get out and get some fresh air and sunshine, maybe watch a few fireworks in the evening. I want to let you know that this last week of store, Summer Library Program, the theme is birds, and I have a couple of things to show you. One of those is the outline of what kind of bird. Do you know what that is? It's a parrot, and we have a craft that you can come and get for those of you that signed up and you make the wings of the parrot with your handprint and it's a lot of fun something different some of you may have seen and we'll come and pick up the craft from last week this is a pet turtle made with a cupcake liner isn't that cute so we have some interesting things I said it was birds this week this is a craft. They're baby birds in the nest. And our book today, one of them, is about nests. It's a Julie Murray Abdo Press. And I think you will learn some new things about nests. And when I get done with this, I have a little song that I kind of made up. I have a little song. Now, I don't know if you can see it real good, boys and girls, but there's lots of twigs. And this right here, that's actually some leaves that have decayed. They're all crunchy. Look at the size of that nest. That's a lot bigger than the one on the front. Many kinds of animals live in nests, not just birds. Did you know that, boys and girls? Birds build nests, and this is where they lay their eggs. Now, this is a very interesting bird. This is a pelican. I don't know if you can see. The beak is very, very long. And there's the eggs. And look at those web feet. Look at that right there. Can you see that? How about that? That bird's got a blue eye. Many nests are made of twigs, mud, and grass. A robin's nest is shaped like a bowl. And can you see that baby bird saying, feed me, feed me. I want my worm now. They're always hungry. They're hungry because they're growing so fast. They need lots and lots of food to help them grow. A bald eagle's nest is big. It sits high up in a tree and this one is six feet from side to side. Now, boys and girls, some of your daddies are six feet tall. Just imagine if they laid down and from the top of their head to the tip of their toes is how wide the nest is. They're pretty big. Now, some of you may know about Eagle Lake just up the road a little ways. And yes, there really are bald eagles nests there on the lake. They're very protected, too, because that's our national bird. Very protected. Take a good look at that now. You see that? Yeah. Those fingers sticking out on the wings. An ostrich's nest is on the ground, and its eggs are very big. And I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like the mama ostrich is going to settle down and sit on top of them right there on the sand. An ostrich. Did you know wasps live in a nest? I know you knew that. Now, paper wasps is a whole nother story, but their nests can be really, really big. And wasps can be like this one is yellow and black, but we have red wasps here in Mississippi. 
Yep, yep, yep. That's a paper nest. Don't think about a nest like that, do you? Uh, what about ants? They live in a nest, and their nest is underground. Now, when it comes out on the top side, we call it an ant hill. But that covers up their nest. Didn't think about that, did you, boys and girls? Maybe you did. Oh, look. Sea turtles dig a nest in the sand and they bury their eggs. I saw an interesting thing on TV about the sea turtles. How about that? Sea turtles are not like our turtles. I love this picture. Look at this. Boys and girls, I cannot remember what kind of bird this is, but I've seen a video where the bird was building this nest and they weave the pieces of grass together and make their nest. I can't remember what kind of bird that is, but they weave that all to, and they do it really fast, like maybe in a day. How about that? So you be on the lookout for nests. What else has a nest? Let's see. Squirrels, they're way up in the tree. Mice, sometimes mice will make nests in places we would really rather they didn't do it. Like, you know what else makes a nest? An alligator. They have a nest. We don't think about some animals having nests, but they really do. How about that? All right, speaking of eagles, this is one of the crafts. I want you to notice that it's got the white head for the bald eagle, and it's got claws. This particular eagle does not have any wings. And when you make your craft, you're going to take your hand, put it on the paper, trace it, and cut it out, and that makes the wings. Remember in the picture, let me show you one more time, how the wings, you see that? That would be kind of like your fingers. Okay? Something fun to do. All right, now if I can remember this little song. Five little legs were sitting in a nest, sitting in a nest, sitting in a nest. Five little eggs were sitting in a nest, safe up in a tree. The mama bird sees them starting to crack, starting to crack, starting to crack. The mama bird sees them starting to crack, and soon the birds are born. Oh, wait. Birds don't get born. They hatch. Soon the birds are hatched. Hmm, I made that up. It's kind of weird. We'll have to work on that one. We'll need some more verses because the birds have got to get bigger and they are going to eventually learn how to fly. We'll have to work on that. Stay tuned, boys and girls. I have another book. I showed you the picture of. Uh, a minute. Your parrot, and you will use your hand just like you did with the eagle. You'll use your hand prints. Here is a book on parrots. Parrots are beautiful birds. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful birds. This is another Jill Murray Abdo Press. Now, once upon a time, there was a place here in Vicksburg that you could go into. It was a hotel over there off of the highway, and there were two really big, really pretty macaw parrots. And they were in the cage in the lobby of the hotel when you walked in. And they were there for years and years and years. Very interesting. There are more than 300 species of parrots. There's parakeets, and there's macaws, and cockatoo, and lovebirds. They're all different kinds of parrots.
And parrots live in a lot of different places in the world. They need to be where there's lots of trees and where it's warm and usually wet. So many parrots live in the rainforests. Look at all those beautiful colors. And boys and girls, when you make your handprint one, you're going to use different colors of construction paper. Look at that. It's important to be gentle when you are petting a parrot. Parrots can mimic sounds. They can learn to say words. I know you've all seen some cartoon things where the parrot says, Ahoy, Minnie! Shiver my timbers! If you watch the Disney movies, a lot of different times you'll see parrots. I know Aladdin has a parrot. Some parrots are really good at it. You, you can almost not tell them apart from the people. Parrots can be many sizes and shapes. The pygmy parrot is only about this big from the top of his head to the tip of his tail. He's kind of like a regular sized bird. But the hyacinth macaw is more than three feet long. Now, three feet, boys and girls, is like from up here almost to the floor. That's a long bird. Look at that eye. Look at that. He's using his beak to clean his feathers. We call that preening. They have a hooked beak. Hooked beak. And they use it to dig. And they use it to crack open nuts. Their feathers can be all colors of bright blue, red, green, orange, yellow. Look at that. And that bird's pretty much got all of those colors. Look how the blue goes into the green and the green goes into the red. Isn't that neat? Parrots have good feet for climbing. They have four toes on each foot. Two toes point forward and two toes point backwards so they can really grip. And they can climb. They might be some of the best climbers. And that one's gray with a kind of gold eye. Parrots have a special way of eating. They grab the food with their feet. They lift the food to their mouth. So they're like feeding themselves, kind of like you do. Most parrots eat nuts and fruits and flowers, but they also eat insects and worms. Now, this parrot is taking the shell off of that seed. This parrot is in a zoo somewhere. Some parrots in Australia nest down in trees. Look at all the colors of that parrot, or those parrots. And no two look exactly alike. Some parrots have the same mate all life long. Wolves do that. And this is a gray parrot. Many people keep African gray parrots as pets. Now, this is interesting, boys and girls, because some of these parrots can live longer than 60 years. And I know the ones that I was telling you about in that hotel, they were both over 40 years old. There's the macaw. This is one of them. It's almost entirely blue. Look at those bright yellow feathers around its eye. How about that? Now, these are the talking parrots. They scream. They can remember lots of words. They can be live as long as 70 years. And I'm telling you, you do not want that to get a hold of you. That would hurt. That would be a very serious bite. Oh, my goodness. This is a very rare bird. It lives in New Zealand. It's an owl parrot. It has short wings and it is not able to fly. Now we've talked about some other birds that can't fly. It's very heavy. That's one of the reasons some of those other birds like the turkey, they really don't fly well. Look at the baby bird coming out of the nest. Egg. Doesn't have any feathers. Nothing about that. Look how pretty. 
It's a blue macaw. Now, some of these parrots are, there's not very many of them, and we call that endangered. If they all die out, then they become extinct, like the dinosaurs. That really pretty blue, blue one is on the endangered species. Now, why are the parrots becoming extinct? People are cutting down the trees. It's messing up their home. We call that invading their habitat. So we have to be careful about those things. We have to think about those things. Animals can't just go build a house somewhere like we can. Sure can't buy a house. Can't go move into an apartment. They got to have trees and fresh air and sunshine and food. So I hope you're learning a few things as we talk about these animals. This is part of our story time is to learn some new things. I have enjoyed reading that book to you and I hope you enjoyed learning about nests. And we hope to see you here in the library very soon. Have a great day everybody. Bye bye.